All right, hey, Dave in Texas here, and this should be my easiest comparison video to do on the Les Paul Chinese Supreme versus the real deal. Now, I don't own the Supreme, so I'm going to the Gibson site and looked up all the qualities and quirks about their Les Paul Supremes they made for like well, over four years of them. I think they stopped in 2008. And the main thing is, uh, very simple, very easy to spot, are these frets. Nice ebony fretboard, don't you think? Nice fake mother of pearl plastics. And very nice nickel, nickel steel fret bars, right? Well, there's your rub on all Supremes, all models, all makes, all years. They had gold frets, right? Gold tinted frets is what they call them. And yes, you can put on gold frets on this guitar. It's not that hard to do, right? And the whole idea of a Supreme Les Paul was it was going to be all gold and all show and play so they used a four level maple top and back and a solid mahogany body i take that back they used a chambered mahogany body because the weight got up too high so when they put the car back in it went over the nine and a half pounds of normal les paul weighed and it came almost 12 pounds Kind of like this one so they chambered out the weight of the uh supremes they took out weight here on the uh, internal frame of the mahogany big gap here they took out a large section here around the controls another large section underneath here in an oval shape underneath the bridge in the tailpiece another large section here on the side and around the uh, three-way and if you knock on the guitar, I understand you can hear how hollow it is. And actually, someone said it plays like a semi-hollow guitar and that it, uh, you can almost play without an amp. <laughs> Ready for that? A Les Paul solid body, you can almost play without an amp. That's amazing. Now, the reason I state the fact about the frets being nickel and not gold is not the only part of that. The next part of it is that if you look closely, if I can focus this good enough, this piping, this binding on the side of this guitar goes over the actual fret. Not up to, not up against, but actually over it. And I really want that clear. You see that? It's actually over the end of the fret on both sides. Covers the end of the fret. And supposedly make it easier to play. Now, <clears throat> a modifier such as me may come in and change out the pups, which I'm going to do. A modifier may come in and change out this cream colored. Uh, connector uh, plate for a gold one as well as a gold uh, connector with the gold uh, sc uh, uh, screw nut right they're available total cost about 30 bucks and I'll make sure that these are nice and uh, level and don't wobble right I may even come in and change out these nickel uh, steel of uh, frets for gold make it really nice but as a cheat and a thief I sincerely doubt they go to trouble of doing this binding work you see this I'm trying to slowly show you how it goes actually over the darn fret itself now you can see it that's just too much work too much cost too much involved for them more than likely, 
when I read what I've read these cheats do, they don't change out anything, they sell it as is. You may get a crummy set of pups like these. Well, I, well, I take that back, they're not crummy, they're okay. They're just not great like a Les Paul should have in them. They're 491s and 498s. You know, the typical Epiphone pups that uh, are put into Les Pauls, of course. They, but they still put those in Les Pauls. 491s and 498s. And I know they make better pups. They know they make better pups. But that's like the low range. Now, one thing I never do is try to get this binding back on these frets. That's got to be a tough job to do. And a cheat would never do that. Right? So you look at that. <clears throat> you can also look at the binding, the thickness of it. Uh, the top should be seven layer. The bottom should be three. And they're about equal. Uh... The top should be a couple layers thicker than what you see right now at seven and the back at three. Now, here's another key issue that I've not found any more information about, but it seems that all of these Les Paul Supremes have those chambers cut out of them here, 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 and here on the mahogany parts, obviously. So it's going to weigh less than nine pounds. You can pick it up until this one weighs more than nine pounds. Also, on the Les Pauls, if you look at them in the magazines or you look at them in the brochures or online, you'll see that it's maple, uh, the flame maple, is so much more distinct than this, the stripes in it. This looks almost faded. It's real, but it's, it looks faded. Instead of being a 4A a piece of quality flame maple, this is a 1 or less. <laughs> but then again, it didn't cost $2,000, $3,000. It cost less than 4 with a case and shipping from China. Now, it has a chance to be and sound just like the real deal once I modify it. But I'm not going to label it as a real one. It's always going to be labeled as a fake. Because I ain't no cheat. And it's going to be mine. I won't sell these. They're mine, oh mine. So, if you have any questions about this, please you know, feel free to give me a holler. Dave in Texas. That's about it for these fakes. Have a good one. Bye.